Okay, I've just come to have Marie's. She needed some help with the garden. Couldn't pick up my big rotavator, it was too much for me. But I bought the little mantis, which is marvellous, and I've managed to just do all her garden in an hour. The over hadn't done my back much good, but she's got it done for her at least. So now, hopefully, I can rest a bit. But in the background here, maybe you can hear a nightingale. We move like let's move the herb. I'm over there. Disappear over the horizon, trying out the rotavator. We have the new table in the bedroom now, I've just been to collect it and I've decided to put it over here. Looks quite nice there in the corner, don't you think? I'm just out watering the plants this morning and what do I find in my next to my water tank? But a beautiful green lizard and he's just sat here waiting to warm up in the sun. Isn't he beautiful? And I also noticed this morning that my peas are coming through. These are the monge too, which is rather good. And the broad beans as well look great. And the ordinary peas here are coming through too. You hear the frogs in the background. So this is Clive's place on the inside, we've seen it briefly on the outside in the vlog and he's got some work to do but it's a lovely traditional farmhouse just as we think on the inside and um, nice old sink here and the old electrics all to be redone. This is Clive's bed that he's made, nice chunky bit of pine yeah and you've got your new mattress. Yeah. Doors in this place. <laughs> That's the thing I was uh, talking about. Yes. Old 
massive uh, big room upstairs. This was, say, a master bedroom, never mind. But it means you've got to panel it all out yet and insulate. Okay, I can have reading area. She has her books. Oh, and you're right. A lovely big barn, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Again, what, what to do with it? I mean, you could have a, 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 a real <laughs> artist, you know. <laughs> Not these bloody computerised things. Well, Clive got this house for just over £30,000 uh, at the time. And when you imagine that it comes with not just the house and that huge barn, the potential of all of that, but this entire field, so this piece, and the whole field behind there, right behind, comes with it as well. I just had to pick up on this beautiful tree here for you. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, it looks a bit like a, a twisted beach in some way, but it's not. It's got a completely different leaf. I've no idea. But this lovely gnarled and lichened covered uh, branch and twigs and these beautiful mauve purple flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. So take a just here in the corner of the garden and it's just an unusual tree. It's a lovely misty morning here today. And the blossom is almost finished. I've just got those paintings done in time, it seems. And next on my projects, I want to go on to my wood carving. So we're going to start on these, the owl I was going to do on this big log. Well, here we are at just after seven in the morning, down on the cruise. The water levels up a bit now, so obviously they're bringing it back to normal. And we're going to try for the bream here this morning. So I haven't been fishing yet. I came down yesterday and unfortunately somebody was here under my other spot, which is unusual because I usually have the place to myself. But we'll get unloaded and just have an hour or so with some worm and maggot and see what we can get. Not, not huge, but uh, a good start. Yep, we're into the small bream again, so it's nice to know they're back again. It's very small. In fact, no, it's a nice little roach this time. There we go. I'll set up my light rig now for some roach so that we can pick out on the side here. Right. I know that's where the deeper channel is. There's some nice little roach in here as well, look. On this rod, a turned a bit colder. Gotcha. That's another little fish. We've got this time. 
Only a small one, could be a small bream, small roach. Here we are, look what we've got. Let's have a little bream. Let's just let this one straight out. Yeah, it's a nice little fish look. Looking straight back in. And it's good to see the little ones fishing here now as well. The youngsters coming down and learning. This little girl with her father from the village. And it doesn't stop me catching the fish. Pretty bream. Take him off quick. Just a nudge of the mouth. Well, I've got two fish on, so I've given it to the other fisherman here to share with me. He has a nice bream. So, I don't know if you can see it. 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 So, we share the fish. C'est un bon brim, hein? It's good to share. Well, here's some nice fresh produce in the garden. Some of our nice winter spinach has come through. Before it starts to sprout and seed, I'll have some for tea tonight. Yes. And I've just been to the door for the bell. Uh, Phil and Rose have turned up. And two other guests have just turned up too. So we'll go and meet them. The basics on the phone at two o'clock in the morning. So now you can actually be on YouTube as well. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll see yourselves on there now, yeah? Oh, no. so come to see me and your names are? Jane. And Ian. And Phil and Rose, of course, and Pierre de Bois behind. And you've come looking at houses in the area, and you think you found one. What have you got then? Well, it's um, hopefully. Hopefully, we found one in Nuzarellos. Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Is it Nuzarello? I don't know. These French. <laughs> Every time I tried to put a French twist to a name here, I've been yeah, wrong. Corrected. <laughs> what is your sat nav say? That is my sat nav. So what price are we looking at on that one? Well, they're asking 160. So it's quite a big place then. It must be. No, it's quite nice. small. That's what I said. They're asking too much. Yeah. So. It depends where they accept it. It's got a nice bit of land with it, and it's got another bit of land with some river frontage. All oh, right. So, Which yeah. river is that one then? Pet, just a pet cruise. It is a pet little cruise on there. Yeah. yeah. But, but it's it, very overgrown. Yeah, it needs rediscovering. There is some water there. I saw it in the distance, but um, kind of. Oh, well, that the moles this year had gone away a bit, but I'm afraid you can see by the damage here, it's just getting so ridiculous that it's turning it into a, a desert. So I'm having to place some mole traps to see if I can 
cut them down a bit. So you remember I was saying how the moulds are making such a mess of my lawn. We've got rid of one of them, humanely and very quickly, but I suspect there are more yet to deal with. He's their family. This tree really is absolutely superb and so unusual. Like I say, I've never seen blossoms like it. The other shrubs and trees are just starting to come out now as well, which is rather lovely. The early figs on this tree never seem to come to much, never have done, but look at this lovely pink bush coming out behind. And on my gateway here, just going through to the front and the archway, smelling absolutely beautiful. There's this mass of pink blossom just coming out. Well, Clive's here for the first of our bachelor dinners that we promise each other once he got moved in. And I'm doing a roast for myself and I don't like eating on my own. And I know Clive's getting a bit pissed off about being over there in the cold wet weather in his place. So, come on mate, cheers, Sante. Sante. Right, and we've got roast pheasant and, oh, we haven't got that on the table yet. No. We've got roast pheasant and chicken today, pheasant from Lincolnshire. Oh. I've got over to some friends, so I've got plenty to spare, but we'll have one ourselves. Pheasant and chicken, and nice crispy roast potatoes with the garlic and pepper and so on. Onion gravy, nothing like it, Yorkshire. The first of many, maybe, eh? Yeah, very nice. So I have arrived at Anne Marie's house again, and she's offered me a little dinner. Daughter's offered me dinner tonight. There's a new way to use radish, which I'm going to share because I've never seen this done before. Very pleasant. We have rose and a little mango juice, and she's going to take the radish and put some butter in it. I said, How do you put butter in radish? So she's going to show me. She's cut the radish with a knife, put a little salt on the side of the plate. And I've never seen this before. This is not English, this is French. C'est français. She puts the butter there. And then some salt. And then dons the petit bouche. It's good. To uh, Simon's Ponds this morning to try and catch a bass and maybe a carp. See what else we can get. See if we can get one of those trout out. The sun is just breaking through. We're coming back into some mist, but the sun is just burning it away. Beautiful countryside here. Well, the sun's just come up, and we're here again with a nightingale singing in the background. Is it there? Nine o'clock. We'll give it a go with some worm. Well, I had a bite on the cart rod, but missed it. I think it was a small bass. Uh, I'm just getting into trying a few maggots now. A little perch just here. I've got a float out with worm, got a ledger out with worm, and I've got my maggot. Just listen to that nightingale in the background, isn't that beautiful? Perfect place to fish, isn't it? Have a lovely bath on. Well, I was incorrect on that. 
of that, but a small carp. Well, never mind, it's still a fish and a good one for my start here in France. So there we go, our first nice little carp of this summer. Oh, this is interesting because I think we might have caught one of the newest we have. We've caught one of the new trout in here, a little brown trout, so that's excellent. And uh, there we go, the pretty little brown trout. Let's get, let's get him back in quick. Well, I'm not quite sure what we've got this time. It's on the maggot. Oh, it's another little brown trout on the maggot. Well, there we are, then another nice little brown trout. Put him back in quick again. It's giving me time to sort my tackle out. I've got some old flints here I want to get rid of. I haven't been using for years. Just filling up my box for nothing. So I'll sort things out when I'm waiting for a bite. A small roach. Right, we're into something a bit bigger now on the carp rod. Something different here than the rod where I carp. These rods out of the way. And here these branches. And the rod. Yeah, nice little carp. Let's get him off the hook quick. Common carp. Nice bass. And they're good fish in here. Very good fish. Lovely bass. Big one. This is a beautiful bass. Only one of the biggest I've caught. I'd like to put them back because one day I'd love to catch something. Five or ten pound, eh? But just look at that. Beautiful fish. Stonking fish. Perfect condition. What flowers are coming up this late spring, early summer? We're just coming up to May now. And you can see in the meadow some lovely things happening. And hear that lovely nightingale in the background. Moths and butterflies arriving already. One of my favourite little wildflowers. And the young bracken is coming up. And there are still a few orchids around. longer now. I won't take it by saying that because usually I catch something sweet after I say that. Well you won't know I've said that. Um, but I've had a lovely couple of hours. After half past eleven I want to go and see my friend who collect a, a leaf mulcher, a twig um, chipper, uh, which I might have used for making cider this autumn as well. So yeah, for a proper first morning, I can't complain at this can I? What a beautiful day. Some cold bad weather. Some grows the other day and she said it was foul in England, she's had to have the heating on again, it's really cold. Here, it's cool this morning, but very pleasant. So what did I say? In the meantime, I'll just pull out another small roach. <laughs> it's something, isn't it? A pretty one. Way 
and there's our nice bass. Not as big as the last one, but still worth catching, isn't it? I've finished here about it for the morning. Um, very happy with what I've caught in the morning so far. I might call in at Cruise on the way back and just check out the trout stream and put a worm down there just in case there's a chance. Most of them have been caught by now, I'm sure, but uh, just an idea. It's not very pleasant down there. I've got the whole day to myself. So I'm just going to pick up this leaf uh, chopper and see where we go. The dell is still fairly full. I'll have a little go down at the lower stretch here. Very beautiful again to be down here. A lot of water, but we'll give it a go. 